Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, Amino Acids. Part 1. Introduction to Amino Acids. Amino acids are the group of organic biomolecules that possess two oppositely charged functional groups covalently bounded to same carbon atom. These two functional groups are 1. Amino group, which is positively charged. 2. Carboxylic group, which is negatively charged. Basic structure of an amino acid is shown in the image at the bottom right. In the image, four vacancies on a single carbon atom that is, C1 of amino acid is occupied by amino group, carboxylic group, A proton, and R chain. 20 different amino acids are commonly found in proteins. The last of the 20 to be found, 3-anine, was not identified until 1938. All the amino acids have trivial or common names, in some cases derived from the source from which they were first isolated. For example, asparagin was first found in asparagus. Glutamate from wheat gluten. Tyrosine was first isolated from cheese, and its name is derived from the Greek word, tyros, which means cheese. Glycine is derived from Greek word, glycose, which means sweet so, the amino acid was named glycine because of its sweet taste. Now I will explain, common structural features of amino acids. All 20 of the common amino acids are alpha amino acids. They have a carboxyl group and an amino group bonded to the same carbon atom, which is known as the alpha carbon. The alpha carbon is shown with the green arrow in the image below. Amino acids differ from each other in their side chains, which is also represented as R groups. The additional carbons in an R group are commonly designated as beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, and so forth, proceeding out from the alpha carbon. In some cases, such as amino acids with heterocyclic R groups, the Greek lettering system is ambiguous and, the numbering convention is therefore used. For all the common amino acids except glycine, the alpha carbon is bonded to four different groups. One carboxyl group, two, amino group, three, R group and, four, hydrogen atom. So, the alpha carbon atom is a chiral center. The amino acid residues in protein molecules are exclusively L-stereoisomers. D-amino acid residues have been found only in a few, generally small peptides, including some peptides of bacterial cell walls and certain peptide antibiotics. Amino acids can be classified by R group. When an amino acid is dissolved in water, it exists in solution as the dipolar ion, or tsvitarion. A tsvitarion can act as either an acid, that is, proton donor or, as a base, that is, proton acceptor. Substances having this dual nature are amphoteric and are often called amphilites, the word amphilites is derived from amphoteric electrolytes. Amino acids can act as either acid or base, depending the pH of the amino acid solution. Amino acids show titration curve similar to weak acid. To know more about titration curve of weak acid, check out my video Biochemistry, pH, acid and base, weak acid and its dissociation. Amino acids, have at least two dissociable protons, one from amino group, where NH3 plus can donate proton and get converted to NH2, and other from carboxylic acid group, where COOH can donate proton and get converted to COO minus. So, amino acids, possess at least two pKa values. pKa is ionization constant, it is a pH value at which proton dissociates. Some amino acids possess more than two pKa values, when its R chain possess functional group that possess dissociable protons. So, depending on the pH of the amino acid solution, it can act as acid or base. Further, pH at which an amino acid possess net electric charge equal to zero, that value of pH is called isoelectric point or isoelectric pH for that amino acid and it is represented by pi. At isoelectric pH, 
Amino acid exists as tsvitarayan but the net charge on this tsvitarayan form is zero. Each amino acid has its characteristic isoelectric pH and pKa values. In my next video, I will describe structure of various known amino acids, along with their classification, stay tuned to my channel. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.